to another video. Alright, so it's a beautiful October day after work. It's almost 80 degrees Fahrenheit. And rip. Yeah, a bit windy. I didn't get a chance to have my afternoon coffee. So I thought, what better way to take care of that and get a ride in right up to Defiance tonight and grab a coffee at Captain Fever Coffee. But this time south side. I've not been to that particular coffee shop. Been to Cabin Fever Coffee downtown. But I haven't been to South Side. So I thought I'd try that. is not part of my entourage. If entourage it is that I have. But you know.
cabin fever coffee. All the way up. It's not so bad. Side in there. And it can be just for... Is it like beef? Yeah. Except it's tall. Okay. I think I'm going to sit over here in this cozy, cozy corner. Cabin Fever Coffee, Southside. That was awesome. That was ever bit as good as the other establishment downtown. <clears throat> I actually feel guilty that I didn't tell Rob I was coming to give him the opportunity to head over this way, but it sounded like he was busy anyway tonight, so I talked to his sister, and she said he was otherwise occupied, so yeah, that's why you didn't get an invite, Rob. Sorry, man. So I had him make a dark roast French press coffee, which the guy's like, uh, we have that on tap, on the, like they have a curry full of it, you know, and I was like, hmm. He said, well, you can make it French press, but your spoon will stand up. I said, that's what I'm looking for. Give me that. <laughs> Give me that. That's what I want. So that's what I got. And then I had a muffin. That thing, whew. I'm telling you what, if coffee's bitter, that takes care of the sweetness. It was cinnamon and sugar and powdered sugar on top with a caramel center. Wow. Make my brain do flips in my skull. I liked it a lot. So I guess what I'm saying is, get yourselves over to Defiance, Ohio, to Cabin Fever Coffee. Delicious. And I'll definitely come back to the south side again. A nice little coffee shop there too. I like it. I like it a lot. Alright. So I act like I know where I'm going. I have no clue. So I'm going to have to uh, turn on my phone here and see which way I'm supposed to be going. See how lost I'm getting myself. And then I'm going to ride home.